Welcome to Insight Hub, the video series dedicated to the world of data and brought to you by Miracle's Data Practice. Hello everyone, I am Pravalika Tirunagari, working as Research Associate AI and ML at Miracle Software Systems. Today, we are going to discuss about predictive maintenance and approach to find the remaining useful lifetime. Our agenda for today would be introduction to predictive maintenance, historical data collection of wind turbine, data exploration, feature extraction, feature importance ranking, followed by a live demo. Let's move into introduction to predictive maintenance. Let's take a scenario of your machinery failing to work all of a sudden. So your next thought would be, oh, if I knew it before, I would have taken necessary actions. So here comes the picture of predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance evaluates the condition of equipment by performing periodic or continuous equipment condition monitoring. The predictive component of predictive maintenance stems from the goal of predicting the future trend of condition equipment's condition. The predictive maintenance mainly is focused to prevent the unexpected equipment failures. The process of predictive maintenance can be defined as evaluation, data acquisition, data management, data analytics, followed by a recommended action. With the machinery you have, you are going to perform operations and maintenance survey for the machinery. And with the data you collect, you are going to monitor the solutions and make a health assessment for, for your machinery. With the health assist, you are going to predict the remaining useful lifetime of your machinery for which you can take necessary actions to make it work in a normal condition. Advantages of predictive maintenance. Improve maintenance. So with the daily monitoring of your system, you can improve your maintenance of the system. You will be able to know when uh, your system needs the maintenance and you can maintain your system on a regular basis, which will help you improve the quality of the production. So predictive maintenance helps you to give best quality of the production from your machinery. It also improves reliability of the system. So you can make a trustworthy system with this approach and make the productions go well. Predictive maintenance also predicts breakdowns at real time. So you will be able to know when a breakdown occurs or you will be alarmed when a breakdown occurs. This would help us to make, take necessary actions and predict breakdowns and recover the breakdowns. This all can be done with real-time monitoring. So the biggest advantage of predictive maintenance can be told as real-time monitoring. This can be done at low cost as well. So with the maintenance of the system being done at a regular basis, you will not have much cost to replace the system. So this would happen at low cost. So here in this predictive maintenance approach, you are going to first monitor the system from day one of its working to its end of its day. So here you will be able to detect the anomalies of the system when the system is not working fine. So with this data, you are going to forecast the anomalies of the system and then make an optimized solution for the system to work in a normal condition. The main vision of predictive maintenance to, is to predict issues and take necessary actions even before they occur. So this would help us to secure productivity, efficiency, and quality of the system. This predictive maintenance approach can be predicted for critical operational functional systems and also those systems which can be maintained at low cost and need no replacement. Historical data collection of wind turbine. Here, 
the wind turbine data is the data set of the vibrations and the tachometer readings of the wind turbine this data is collected for 50 consecutive days and this data is stored as the data set this data would be helpful for us to find the remaining useful lifetime of the wind turbine data extraction once the data is collected it is our duty to understand the data and take necessary actions so for this we need data visualization here in this data set for the wind turbine we are collecting data for the 50 consecutive days and each day's uh, data is like vibration signals for six seconds this data when visualized you can see there is a change in the signal impulsiveness of the data from day one to day 50 this can be shown in the graph and we will be seeing that graph in the live demo spectral kurtosis spectral kurtosis is a statistical tool which can indicate the presence of series of transients and then locations in the frequency domain this spectral kurtosis is used to find the powerful features in the data set this will eradicate the non-stationary information in the data set this is a function of frequency and the measurement day of the wind turbine data set feature extraction with the data you have you are going to add some more data into the data set these new features added into the data set will be helpful for us to find the remaining useful lifetime of the data of the wind turbine these data are collected by the time domain signals and also from the spectral kurtosis. Feature importance ranking. Once the features are added into the data set, not all the features would be really helpful for us to predict the remaining useful lifetime. So we will have to perform feature importance ranking. The main four reasons for us to perform feature importance ranking can be for the researchers to make the data set more understandable and easier to interpret and also you will be able to make the training period shorter you can avoid the curse of dimensionality and also reduce overfitting so after feature importance ranking we will be able to predict the remaining useful lifetime of the component live demo so let's see how the graphs will be produced so here i'm running the program uh yeah so it will take a little while for the program to be executed and for us to see the graphs uh, in the graphs we can i mean there would be six graphs uh, produced and uh, each graph is for one uh, has its own importance so you can see the remaining useful lifetime of the data and also you'll, uh, you can see the degradation trend of the data and uh, you can also see a graph for the feature importance ranking for the data that we have given so the data is for the wind turbine as i said earlier and uh, you can also see the spectral kurtosis graph here so the program is being executed we can see all the graphs once it is done Yeah, so the evaluation is being done and uh, yeah, so the graphs are uh, ready for us to visualize. We'll see, look into each graph. There are a total of uh, six graphs that are produced. Yeah, so these are all the graphs. The first one is the feature importance ranking. So here uh, it has ranked all the attributes of the data. And the second one is the degradation trend of the data. So from day one to day 50, you can see an increase in the acceleration of the, I mean the data vibrations. Uh, vibration. So you can see it in the graph. 
the fourth one is the principal component analysis graph uh, the third one and the fourth one is the spectral kurtosis graph so the graph is being plotted between uh, spectral kurtosis and uh, time and frequency of the data uh, you can see the degradation trend in the fifth graph so when the degradation is detected how it is actually reacting so the last one is the remaining useful lifetime of the data so here with the data you have you uh, like we are able to predict uh, the remaining useful lifetime and uh, how we can uh, take uh, necessary actions for the component to work in a normal condition so that's it thank you thank you for watching a video on inside hub the video series brought to you by miracles data practice for more videos please visit miraclesoft.com/insighthub